Hello, and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Today we're going to be talking about the T5 and the T6 series, and what are the differences between these two series, and why would somebody spend more money on the T6 versus the T5? So, let's start with the T5. The T5 has been out for a long time, over 25 years. Um, when it came out, it was really revolutionary for the time. Um, when Fluke invented this, this was the first time you could take um, a reading of AC current without actually having jaws like a clamp meter, you know, like a clamp meter. You wouldn't have to have these jaws closing around a um, around a wire to measure AC current. For the first time, you could just slide a wire in here and get your AC current reading. So you could just, you know, slide a wire, get your AC current. First time that we could do that, you know, 25 years ago, patented technology from Fluke and then eventually the patent runs out and everyone else makes one. So now you can find others on the market very similar to this with the open jaw technology. Um, this has been a long-standing, amazing product for Fluke, um, but it took a little bit of a different turn than what we kind of expected. When Fluke first came out with this, they really thought this is gonna be the meter for the contractor, um, the light commercial contractor because it's a very basic, easy tool to use. It's got three functions, volts, amps, and uh, resistance, or ohms, or continuity. And all, of, all three of those auto-ranging so you don't have, it's very simple to use. Um, and we, we designed it, when we originally designed it, it was an average responding meter because it was designed for that commercial um, person. But over time, we found more and more and more of our industrial customers, uh, the technicians, really, really liked the ease of use that it only had three features. And But our industrial customers kept complaining, hey, you know, we've got different complaints about this. And we'll talk about those here in a second. Um, those complaints and how I believe the T6 addressed most, if not all, of the complaints that I had heard about the T5 from those industrial customers. So... A little bit about the T6. T6, new and improved, um, but we didn't just come out with fixing some of the features that customers were hoping for in that industrial plant. We went above and beyond and we came out with some really, really cool features um, called Field Sense, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit and why somebody would care about it. So, let's jump into it. If we look at these, and we look at them side by side, you can look at, they both have the same um, kind of three dots, uh, volts, amps, and resistance. So if you're used to the T5, the T6 is gonna be a very easy transition for you. Um, as, we, as we do look at this, the first feature I'm gonna point out, and I believe that this feature in and of itself is worth the price of upgrading your tool, because if your facilities are like any of the facilities I've been into, they're not well lit, especially in the electrical cabinets. So the T6 now has a backlit screen. The T5 does not. It never had a backlit screen and still does not. That in and of itself, again, I just think is extreme value for a customer. In addition to the backlit screen, one of the complaints that we would get on the T5 is that the jaws were too narrow that they could only go up to 100 amps and we're an industrial plant we need to be able to measure high larger uh, conductors and measure our current that way with the t6 we addressed that we uh we actually doubled the size of this so if you look at them um, side by side you can see we doubled the size of the jaw and that jaw is now allows you to go up to 200 amps versus the old uh, t5 which goes up to 100 amps the next thing that I hear, and I hear this from industrial customers time and time again, is we need higher resistance. The T5 comes with only a thousand ohms, and I need to measure higher ohm readings because I, I am over the limit on the T5 all the time. So with the T6 1000, we improved that to a hundred thousand ohms. Um, and from the industrial customers I've talked with, there are some applications that are above that, but they are far and few between. And if they do need that, they probably have another meter that can do those really high-end um, ohm readings. And the other thing is, even if you get the T6 
600 versus the 1000 or the Pro, um, it comes with 2000 ohms. So it still gives you an advantage, but it's not near as much. If you are that industrial customer and you do need that high ohm reading, you really need to look at the T6 1000 or the T6 Pro, which is what I would um, recommend because there's not much difference in price and you get a better meter with it. We'll talk about that as well. Okay. So in addition to the ohm reading being higher, the next thing, and I think this is critical and a lot of people don't know why, there's something called true RMS. The T5, again, was not designed for that industrial um, environment. It was designed a long time ago when we had a many fewer, uh, much fewer nonlinear loads. There were more conventional loads, um, incandescent lights versus LEDs, and not near as many VFDs in that industrial market as today. Now, today there are VFDs everywhere, and if you are ever measuring current going to a nonlinear load, the VFD or an LED lighting circuit or any nonlinear load, you're going to be grossly off, up to 50% off with the T5 average responding meter versus the T6 true RMS meter. True RMS can measure voltage of nonlinear loads accurately, whereas the T5 will not. So in an instant where you're measuring um, current, AC current going to a VFD, let's say it's 18 or 19 volts, or 18 or 19 amps, the, uh, the T5 would measure somewhere around nine or 10 amps. It's gonna be uh, close to 50% of what it really is. Now, why would that make a difference? Well, if you're tripping out a, a breaker, a 10 amp breaker, and you're on a nonlinear load and you keep taking measurements and you're going, what in the world? It's below 10 amps, why am I tripping out breakers? You replace the breaker and it keeps tripping it? Well, guess what? It could be because you have the wrong meter for the job. Um, you really need a true RMS meter. And most people don't get that. And it can be a real head scratcher if they don't realize that having an average responding meter makes that difference. And if they don't realize the T5 is an average responding meter and they assume just because it's a fluke that it's true RMS. So true RMS, huge, um, it can be a safety factor. It can also just be the fact that you can take readings much more quickly. The, the next thing is field sense. Um, if you're not familiar with field sense, I will probably make a video or I'll add to this video something on field sense and basically the ability to slide um, a conductor over a wire and get your AC voltage reading without using your test leads. This is huge. With the T, um, with the T6 1000 Pro, you do need to use a test lead, but you only have to connect it to ground. You don't actually have to connect to an energized circuit ever. You can slide over a wire and get your AC current reading. AC current and AC voltage without using your test leads to connect to an energized circuit. Really, really a, um, a big deal with that. Okay. In addition to this, let me tell you a little bit about the T6 1000 versus the Pro. The 1000 comes with a little um, finger plate on the back, a grounding plate for your finger, and it's gonna use your internal body resistance to, as a grounding reference to calculate the voltage. Whereas the T6 1000 Pro is going to have, you're gonna to have to use your black test lead, your common lead, and connect it to ground. If you do that though, you get a much higher reading with any of the T6 series, much more accurate reading, not higher, much more accurate reading. So I recommend doing that anyways, and you're gonna get more accurate readings. The other thing, and this is a really cool feature, it doesn't get talked about much. Um, it's a new patented technology from Fluke. It's called visual continuity. So in a loud industrial environment, you cannot hear the little beep you guys can probably hear it in this video, but you won't be able to hear it in an industrial environment. If you look at this um, screen though, you can see with the visual continuity, you can see nice green backlit screen. So even in a dark, loud environment, you can quickly see that. Another feature that makes that's unique about the T6 versus the T5 is we now have a place to hang a magnet pack in the back of it, one of our T-Pack accessories. This is a big deal because 
So many people are wanting to take their T5 and hang it up next to them in their cabinet so they can use both hands to use their test leads, and they can't do that. With the T6 now, they have that ability. So all of these features um, are really why people are willing to spend more money on the T6 versus the T5. So just a quick review, it would be true RMS, so you get accurate readings on nonlinear loads. You get a backlit screen, which in my opinion, again, worth the price of admission higher resistance reading, and visual continuity with the T6 Pro, which is really slick if you're in that loud environment. Um, so that's a little bit about the, the T5 and the T6 series. We still sell a lot of both. Um, I believe uh, the more customers that understand the difference between these, they will go ahead and spend the extra money on the T6 because it's just a great tool and it's corrected a lot of the things that our industrial customers were asking for have been corrected with this T6. So hope this was a good fluke Friday and you guys had fun with me. Let me know if you have any uh, requests for other products or um, kind of video content in the comments below and I'd be happy to do that. Have a great weekend. Take care.